hello guys welcome to my work channel so today we bring you by an open page about the Cambodian poverty life so you can see all this situation in Cambodian we are the poor country so people is slum people is born dairy for the living we can really separate from each other you can see all these people poor grandma and poor grandpa and they all poor people really live in separate uh, area and the area that they live is on the flood area and they push them to live on the dam and the dam like the land for their village to build in. and one part of the house pole is built on the dam and the other built into uh, the water pond so those water pond very dirty and when the flood it the monsoon season coming if the flood it over the hell and over the dam too uh, they have no place to go and how they make their living it so hard it's just for so wise you can see all these people live with the trash and collecting the trash for the living for survivals and they could not afford any to send all their children go to school they cannot overcome for their lives and then save up some money and one thousand real in American dollar it's just one dollar if have one dollar or any sponsors like helping them one dollar a day and they can afford to send their kid go to school yeah they spend about two thousand real it's a quarter they spend about one dollar it more than enough and they can have the food and transportation go to school but you can see all this generation by generation from 1975 like civil war and we start up with no education no school no any system so the communist Khmer Rouge took over from 1975 so like myself too I only nine years old and I only have the first grade for my education so after it's over three years and the country took over by the Vietnamese and winning the war so I had no school I had to live in the jungle so when I was 17 my mom sent me to school so UNHCR built a school from the bamboo and from the palm tree leaf and then we can have some shelter like uh, people who get some education to teach us the alphabet and then we can write we can read that what my education from the Thailand borders my education is less than six months when I was in Thailand border in the refugee camp how about this grandma and with her grandson and she pick up all kinds of little wood for firewood and her grandson pick up recycle they collect all those trash for the living and because they are so poor they cannot break in through the path to generation to the next generation only earth can see this and helping them please see this video share the only way for a living they travel by foot travel by old bicycle with their grand grandson and to collect all those trash to make a living yeah uh, it's so hard for their lives and mostly they have no house to live and you can see all this situation here if you guys uh, want to help please share this video or you want to help please contact me or come in we will start it from there so I was there in that situation but I'm so lucky so I got to the United States uh, took me here by UNHCR because I'm a refugee but right now I'm here in the wonderful land in the 
the opportunity land, so I had to look back, do the best I can, and to helping them. Here another story, he is about four feet tall, and he left from his home about five days or six days or seven days, but he sleep on his cot. He do for his living is collecting the trash and then sell it. And so he's deaf too, he cannot hear very well. So uh, the guy at Cambodia that I work with, and he go there and helping them and get some in the view. It how hard his life was and then his son is a handicapped too and he got the accident, broken leg, but he tried his best to working hard, pushing the cart and he got a short step so he had to travel from his house to the other location he spent for three days. So he come back and he spent for three days too and he slept on his cart. It's a lot of stories like that and people just really hard to make their living and they're so poor and nowhere else to go and just for the wise. And if you guys would like to help them, please, a few pennies, it'd be okay to help, me and help them to change the world. And you guys can sell me. I put my phone here and five pennies, ten pennies, and can help them out of this situation. You can see his son. He is a handicapped too, and he's short too, and this all around his home is collecting the trash and sell it to the dealer to get a couple thousand real. If four thousand real is one dollar, if he lucky he can collect ten thousand real is two fifty a day. But he work it so hard for his life and to help his family and to raise his family. You know how lies in Cambodia I got a lot of video and then a lot of work on it and you can stay tuned and I will update my videos as soon as possible when I'm free. This to the end of this video, I just uh, open up the page of the poverty lights in Cambodia to let you guys see it, to open, let the world see it, how is Cambodia doing. So if you would like to help please share the video and thank you very much for you will like you we'll see you guys on the next video please stay tuned and you guys have a nice day bye bye now